transportation, again, all infrastructure, road, bridges, tunnel, canal. So huge and huge scopes are there. So most of the people they are not aware of what is needed. What are the things like infrastructure, infrastructure of building, housing, like that. But the role of civil engineering, right from academic, so there's a huge requirement in education. Civil engineers are required after getting their graduation, post-graduation, or after PhD. So there's a huge scope in that. Nowadays, universities are not getting good quality civil engineers. The reason is that there is a huge scope. If you talk about the budget, so then more than 250,000 crore rupees directly and directly going to the construction industry. Even in the recession, government will put more and more money into construction. Because indirectly, the people are going to get employment from that. So, so far as the civil engineering is concerned, the budget, so that is one important part, then who is going to employ? Right? Then we talk about the functional part. So data collection, survey, soil investigation, hydraulic survey, then planning, designing, designing like structures, all kinds of structure. One can be expert in higher study. One can be expert of bridge engineering. One can be expert in tunnel engineering. So then there are so many branches and sub-branches are there. So sometimes what happens if you are an expert in one direction after a few years you will forget about the rest of the engineering. So not only that, in, during execution you can be a contractor, you can be a builder, and in tender and contract management, construction planning and management, then you can be a good quality engineer. Again the testing would be that health monitoring of the structure, hydraulic engineering, you can be that in designing of the gate, designing of the dam. So then, if you are talking about civil engineering, then more than an hour is required to just brief on that. So, if you are talking about who are going to employ, uh, give the employment to the civil engineers. So, central government, the defense, army, air force, navy, CPWD, ONGC, national highway. So, then the whole central government body who is employing civil engineers. Then state government bodies, urban bodies, Then, in the private sector, the corporates, the multinationals, the all architectural and building consulting firms they are offering the job to civil engineers, structural engineers, the material, manufacturing of all kinds of new advanced construction material. So again, that is useful. And since somebody is interested to develop a very enterprise in nature, so they can develop their own business. The research and development is another area. So of course, civil engineer, the vast scope is that. So even not necessarily if the student has have a very high IQ, even if the average student is that they can build their own career. So a lot of choices are there. So being uh, myself, I'm a family structure, and uh, we are into design, data collection, then we are into testing, we are into project management consultant, and we are getting huge work from most of the part of the country. Thank you.